Hey everyone and thank you so much for watching today's video. If it's your first time on my YouTube channel, my name is Anne and if you have been here already, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created this soft everyday eye look. And the crazy thing is that I only used one brush, which is this one right here, the Sigma Beauty E40 Tapered Blending Brush. I used it in combination with this new product, which is also by Sigma Beauty. It's called the Sigma Beauty Switch and it's this silicon double-sided mat that will help you to gently pull liquid cream or powder pigments from your brush. So what I really like about the Sigma Beauty Switch is that you don't have to switch brushes, which is really nice. Um, it gently pulls the pigment so it's not gonna like destroy the hairs of your brushes. It's really soft. No water is needed when switching so that just saves a lot of time because whenever you use a liquid product, you have to wait until it dries, which can be super annoying. So this is just a way easier way to clean your brushes. It's double-sided, so if you have already used one side, you can just flip it over and use the other side. You don't have to use your hand to remove product or a towel. Like I said, um, I have so many towels with stains, so I don't have to do that anymore. And it also has different textures, so you don't have to like use the same brush on the same place. This kind of prevents like combining different formulas. Um, so yeah, it's really nice. So I think we're just gonna dive right into the video. I'm gonna show you how I use it and how easy it is to use and let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the Sigma Ambience Eyeshadow Palette, which is this beautiful palette right here. I have used it before on my YouTube channel. I will link that video down in the description bar if you wanna see another tutorial where I play with this palette. Um, but I'm gonna take my Sigma Beauty E40 Tapered Blending Brush, um, which has been my favorite brush for a really long time. And I'm gonna take the color Daylily and I'm gonna blend this all over my crease. So I'm gonna dip my brush in here. Then I'm gonna tap off the excess product. And now I'm gonna start blending this all the way in my crease. This is kind of going to be like my transition shade even though it's maybe a little bit darker than the Trish shade I would normally go in with, but Sigma Beauty brushes blend out really easily. So I'm kind of using it as a transition shade and as a medium shade in my crease. So I'm gonna start blending this all the way in my crease, going from the inner corner to the outer corner. all in my crease so now I'm going to use that same brush but now I'm going to use the Sigma Beauty switch uh, and I'm going to demonstrate how I use it so I'm going in with the brush into the blending part right here it says blending right above it so I'm going to blend my brush in here to kind of like get rid of the excess eyeshadow so I can use a brand new shade and make my brush clean basically so there are actually a few, um, or there are actually two that you can use for eyeshadow. So it's this one right here that I'm using right now. But you can also use the top one, which is eyeshadow. I'm using the blending one right now because I'm using a blending brush. Um, but I used the eyeshadow one before and it worked also. But I'm going to use the blending one right now. So I'm just going to swirl my brush in here. What I love is that you don't have to use like a liquid a cleanser or a water-based cleanser because um, this will make your brush wet and then you have to wait until you can start using your brush again which can be super annoying especially if you don't have a lot of time so I'm going in with my brush into a different shade right now and I'm going in with the color Sunspot or maybe I should do yeah let's go for Sunspot which is quite a dark shade actually so I'm gonna dip my brush in here so this is more like a cool tone shade and the previous one I used is very warm toned as you can see. So I don't want uh, this shade to kind of have an impact on the next shade I'm going to use. I want this to kind of remain the shade as it is, which is really cool tone. So now that I have a clean brush, it's going to give me this eyeshadow shade and not like a mixture of 
Daylily and the color Sunspot, which will be beautiful as well. But the purpose of showing you guys this is of course that I wanna only use this shade on a clean brush. So dipping my brush in here and just like I did with the previous shade, getting rid of the excess products. This is something I always do because I don't want any eyeshadow fallout to get on my face, of course. So taking that same Sigma Beauty E40 Tappered Blending Brush and start kind of pressing this in the outer portion of my eyelid to make sure that the eyeshadow is kind of like packed on. And then after doing that, I'm going to make circular motions. Now this shade looks a little bit more warm tone actually than I expected. Um, it's more cool tone in comparison to the other shade I use, but it looks so pretty together. Okay, so the color Sunspot is now in my outer V. I really like how it's looking, but what I like to do after using a dark shade is go back in with a light shade to make the edges a little bit more softer. Now you might be thinking, um, I just used this brush, there's a dark shade on it right now, so I have to go in with a different brush to use a light shade. So I wanna demonstrate that you can also fix this with the Sigma Beauty Switch. So now I'm gonna take the brush and I'm going in right here at the top row and I'm going to sweep my brush back and forth again getting rid of the excess product on the brush and then I'm going to show you that you can easily go in with a light shade afterwards and use it on your eye as well so I'm just going in there I love that it has quite like long hair so you can really get in there with your brush um, so I'm just going to continue. I'm not sure how long I have to do this, but I think everything is almost gone. I just want to make sure that it's actually really gone because I don't want to mess it up. But it looks really clean. So I'm going to do a uh, test on my back of my hand to see if it's really gone. If there's no product coming off, I'm just going to do my hand like this so you guys can see. So I'm just going to make these circular motions. I don't really see any product on my brush anymore, so that means it's clean and I'm ready to go in with a light shade. So what I could do, I could go in with Daylily again and use that same shade to blend everything out. But I think I'm actually going in with the color Days, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna dip my brush in here. Get rid of the excess products so I don't have any fallout underneath my eye. And now, I'm going to blend this at the top portion of my crease just to make the edges a little bit softer. Now, I really like how it's looking so far. I think the blend looks really nice. And considering that I only used one brush, I think that's actually amazing. So now for my eyelid, I'm gonna use the color Marigold, which is such a beautiful color. It's this one right here. And I'm gonna use my finger to apply this all over my eyelid. Kind of pressing to make sure that all the eyeshadow is packed on the eyelid. You see how beautiful that shade is? I love it. Now for the final step for my eyeshadow, I'm going back in with the color Daylily right here. And I'm going to use the same Sigma E40 brush. I just want to show you guys how easy it is to use only one brush for your whole eye look. So I did use a lighter shade on it for my last step. So it doesn't really matter to go in with a darker shade. But just for the sake of this video, 
I am going in with my brush into the Sigma switch, getting rid of the excess product. I can see kind of like a light wash on the switch because I used a light shade. Not sure if my camera picks it up. Oh yeah, you can see this one right here. Then this was the second shade I used right here. And then now, well, you can't really see it. Never mind. <laughs> so now I've taken my brush, dipping it into the color Dayliney, the one we used all the way at the beginning. Again, tapping off the excess product. And now I'm going to blend it just right underneath the lower lash line. And I don't have to be super precise with this because I actually like that kind of like blown out blended effect underneath the lower lash line and I think it goes really well with the eye look today. So it doesn't really matter that this is like a little bit of a bigger fluffier brush. Go in again. I want a little bit more of this shade. Again, tapping off the excess product. So this is how my eyeshadow is looking so far. I am absolutely loving it. So I'm just gonna keep it this way. I'm gonna apply a little bit of pencil in the waterline and then apply mascara and the eye look is finished. So now it's time for mascara. I'm going in with the Sigma Beauty Sinuosity Lash Mascara and I'm actually not going in with any fake lashes today. I want to keep it a little bit more soft and easier to recreate. So I'm going to try to make my lashes look as long as possible. Okay, so the eyes are now finished and I don't know if I used this mascara before. It was called the Sin Sinuous Sinuosity Lash Mascara. Um, I've used several Sigma mascaras before, but I don't know, this one is really good. It really separates the lashes and it makes them really long. I really like this one, definitely gonna use it more often. Now for my blush today, I'm going in with the Sigma Beauty Corderosa Blush Palette. And I'm gonna do a mixture of the shade Coral Dawn, which is this one right here, that peachy shade, and mix it whole with this pink shade right here, which is called Pashmina. So I'm gonna blend both of them on my brush and I'll be using the Sigma Beauty Soft Blend 60 brush. And I'm just gonna dip my brush in both of these shades. I'm also gonna use this brush for my highlighter so I can show you how to switch from blush to highlighter uh, with the Sigma Beauty switch. So like I also do with my eyeshadow, I'm gonna kind of like tap off the excess product. Um, I always like to go in with more and more, like you can, if I would go in with bl too much blush, it's going to be hard to like get rid of it. So I prefer to go in with a little bit and then I can always add more of that product. So making sure to tap off the excess product and then now I'm going to blend it on the apples of my cheeks. So now before I go in with my highlighter, I'm going to take that same brush and now I'm going to use the switch again and I'm going to blend it into this portion right here. And I'm just kind of going back and forth with my brush. I love highlighter, um, but not too much. I like to apply a little bit like on the highest point of my cheekbones and of course I don't want my highlighter to be pink. I want it to be the color that it is in the palette. So I want to make sure that all the blush is gone on my brush so it's not gonna like have an impact on my highlighter shade. I know some people like to apply their highlighter on top of their blush. If you like that it doesn't really matter you don't have to clean your brush because it's gonna blend onto your face anyway but I'm not that kind of girl. I don't like my 
skin to look too glowy especially not on my cheeks because I do have some texture going on so I want to work a little bit more precise so I'm gonna see on the back of my hand if there's any product coming off it doesn't look like it I don't really see like a pink sheen so that means it's clean right now so now I'm gonna go in with the Sigma Beauty glow kiss palette right here so pretty and I'm going in with the color flare which is the one right here these are actually pretty intense so and I want to use too much I can always go back in with more product tapping off the excess products and I'm gonna apply it right here so pretty Okay, the only thing I'm gonna do is apply some lip products, which I'm gonna do off camera and I'll be right back. So this is the final result. I really hope you all like how this makeup look turned out. Um, I actually also went in with the Sigma Beauty Lip Gloss in the color Brilliance. I added a little bit of that like right in the center of my lip. I think it looks really pretty. Um, but yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I love that I only used one brush for this whole eye makeup look. Um, I think this switch is such a amazing product like I have so much towels with stains from makeup in it and now I can just use this one which is genius I can just put it right here on my countertop of my desk and yeah I'm definitely gonna use it more often I hope you enjoyed this video where I showed you how to use it um, I'm definitely gonna use it more often and yeah I really like how this makeup look turned out now if you enjoyed this video of course don't forget to give this video a thumbs up that's really helpful for my YouTube channel. If you want to purchase the Switch or any of the other Sigma Beauty brushes, um, I'm going to link everything down in the description bar in case you want to purchase anything. So definitely check out the description bar. And yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys!